We're less than 24 hours away from the first Memphis City Council meeting since the Shelby County election. Three Memphis City Council members, now elected to county commissions, have an important decision to make in regards to their council seats. Well, tonight, Local 24's Otis Sanford shares his point of view on what they should do in the interest of voters. The City Council will gather tomorrow for its regular series of meetings. Seven committee meetings are set starting in the morning, followed by an executive session and a full council meeting in the afternoon. At some point during the day, one important thing should happen that probably won't. Three members, Edmund Ford Jr., Janice Fullylove, and Bill Morrison, should inform their colleagues and the citizens of Memphis that they will relinquish their seats early next month. That is when all three will be sworn in to new offices in county government. Ford to the county commission, fully loved to juvenile court clerk, and Morrison to probate court clerk. But so far, they have declined to publicly commit to leaving the council before the required 90-day period to give up their seats. I don't know how many times I can say this. These public servants are doing a total disservice to their constituents. If they leave the council early next month, it would allow their seats to be on the November ballot. If they don't, the remaining council members will pick their replacements later. That's the disservice. The excuse that their constituents would be without representation is false. There will be five remaining super district council members who collectively represent the entire city. So come tomorrow, Ford, Fully Love, and Morrison should make our day by resigning effective in September. It is the right thing to do. And that's my point of view. I'm Otis Sanford for Local 24 News.